in the kitchen today with Jason. He is uh, from uh, Kathy G Catering. How you doing? Doing great. It's doing good great. to see you. Thank uh, you. Kathy G is your mom. So. She is. She <laughs> is. It's a lot to live up to. Yes. Great reputation. It is a family business here, and so you've, you've kind of been doing this for a while with your mom. And you're going to be at Pepper Place tomorrow. I am. I'm doing the chef demonstration tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the uh, Pepper Place Farmer's Market. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a Creole succotash with andouille sausage and a little crawfish shrimp cake on top. Ooh, that sounds very fancy for a Pepper Place mm -hmm. tomorrow. Well, uh, succotash to me is just all about the summer, mm -hmm. and with the corn, the tomatoes, the lima beans, right. it just, it just, it sells the summer for you. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, in this pan right here, I said mm -hmm. I'm doing a little bit of a Creole, so it's going to be a little bit of a, of a Cajun flavor. All right. And here I've got some bacon I've rendered down. Mm -hmm. Also, I've got some andouille sausage. And I've got a trinity, or a, a, I've got celery, bell pepper, and onions, a little garlic mm -hmm. to add a little Cajun flavor. And you want to render this down for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let the sausage release some of its oils and the bacon to get a little crispy. And so you kind of uh, baby this for a little bit, right? You do. You okay. want this to, this is really your building blocks of the flavor you okay. want for the dish. All right. About how long does it take to get it to where you want it? Probably about 10, about 15 minutes. Okay. On medium, right. medium heat. All right. So we've got it where we want it. Now we're using fresh corn. We're using fresh corn. And we're going to use some fresh corn. We're going to use some uh, red bell peppers. Okay. A little sweetness. So chop them up pretty small. Yeah. Everything's small diced. Okay. And it can be larger diced. Mm -hmm. It totally depends on if you're using this for a main dish or mm -hmm. a side dish. Okay. So we add our okra. Our limas, in the south, limas is a traditional bean, but mm -hmm. is any shell bean with the corn and the tomatoes really is the basis of succotash. Okay. It's, uh, there are variations north and south. So you're going little to... Little scallions, is that what that was? That was green onions. Okay, green onions, okay. Right, and then we're going to add a little bit of tomato. Mm -hmm. So using fresh tomato. Fresh diced tomatoes. Okay. And then this is going to cook for good... 10 minutes or so, and you're just going to saute this. Now, where do you want your flame on that? Because you obviously don't want it to burn, but you want it to be cooking for This, good. when you're sauteing, it means, saute means like to jump. And so for something like this, you do want it to be medium high, too mm -hmm. high. Just you want to stir it or move it around so that uh, you're allowing everything to evenly cook. Okay. And the flavors to marry. And then we're going to add, in a few minutes, we're going to add a little chicken stock to this. Okay. And that's going to let everything cook all the way through. All right, we're going to let this cook. I want you to talk about these in the time that we have left here. Over here, we've got a crawfish and shrimp cake. Mm -hmm. We took a little mainly cooked crawfish tail meat that we chopped up, added a little bit of pureed raw shrimp, and we bound that with some eggs and panko, Japanese breadcrumbs, and some seasonings. And then we made little cakes formed that uh, are just going to be a side dish to. So it looks the, like a little crab cake. It's like a crab cake, except with uh, crawfish tail meat. Fully okay. cooked crawfish tail meat to add to the, the Cajun Creole th uh, theme we've got. All right, and so you're just putting this in some olive oil, is that right? It's olive oil and a little bit of butter. Okay. okay. And that takes about. And, and you want to saute each side for about three to four minutes. All right, if we can come back over here, you can see that he's now putting. This is the chicken stock. Okay. And. That looks this really, cooks really good. for about, like I said, about maybe like 15, 20 more minutes with your chicken stock. You want to finish it with some butter and some fresh herbs. Okay. And the main thing you're really doing, it seems to me, is getting the beans and the okra done because it the is. corn doesn't take long at all. Right. And the uh, and the celery and onions and everything else are already have been pre-cooked. Okay. Uh, you want to add um, you want to add some salt, but be careful of the salt. Add a little bit, but then taste it because of the sausage and the bacon is going to have a lot of salt already okay. added to the dish. So you don't so want you too add, much. No, you want to add a little bit of salt. All right. And a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to plate one up for you. All right. Let's do it. That looks really really good. So, so this is going to cook for a few minutes. Okay, and, and we've already got one that's rendered down right here. We do. This is ready okay. to go. Excellent. Right, I'm gonna okay. Go ahead gonna, and get over here and I'll, no I'll switch sides with you. You're going to spin a little bit of your Creole succotash right on top. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. One cake. Doesn't that look nice? And this is going to be a little remoulade. It's a, like a French tartar sauce. Mm -hmm. And so um, Jason is going to be out at Pepper Place Farmer's Market again tomorrow out in the, the Dr. Pepper district there where they do the great farmer's market. And he's going to be doing the demonstration. But mm -hmm. you'll be able to taste these too because yeah. you guys are making a bunch ahead of time. We've right? got uh, 300 portions ready to go for tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you can come out and uh, purchase some wonderful local produce at the farmer's market and come by and join the uh, demonstration. Thank you, Jason, very much from Kathy G. Catering. My pleasure. A great dish today. You can get the recipe at myfoxal.com.